Hi, this is Jonathan Kay from Sims you Share here to show you some of the new stuff in version 1.5. For example, a bunch of new effects, victims, new languages, and a new help center which has a forum and a knowledge base. So let's take a quick look. Let's start with the new effects. For example, ceiling fire. This is good for fire rolling across the ceiling or maybe in a window. Now it has the typical characteristics you can change, brightness, opacity, color, speed, transform, and delay timing. The next new effect is called Spark Burst in Hazmat. And this is basically a white spark pattern here, which you can change the color when it fades in and its repeat frequency. So I can have it repeat here, let's say, every five seconds or so. And let me see, just change its color with the typical pattern here. I have to set the color intensity get exactly the color of the sparks that you want. Now the last effect is the utility of shapes. Shapes, we have a black window, black rectangle you can use to kind of cover up, look like a knocked out window, sort of. And there are several different features in here such as the type, black window, arrow, rectangle, square, circle, etc. And as well you can change opacity, color, transform, blur, which lets you um, help help it sort of fade into the background a little bit better. Now when we're done there, we can take a quick look. There's a couple of our new effects in action. The biggest change in version 1.5 is the victim feature. So let's take a look. Let's take a look at some of the victims. If I go here to victims, you'll see I have a choice, boy, firefighter, girl, man, woman. I'll just pick the man here. In a prone position, I can change his size, rotation. I can also change his posture. So if I go here, you'll see here there's prone toward camera, on side, and a bunch of different postures. Not all the victims have the same postures, but they're mostly represented. Another th important thing about victims is if I click on them, by default, they disappear, like you're clearing them. And if I double tap, they come back. Now that's controlled in an area, a property called tap control. And the documentation details all the different settings. For example, if you don't want them to be cleared on tap, you, you would set clear on tap to, to no. Tap target scale gives you a size on the, tar on the victim to click on. Sync variable lets you synchronize different views of a victim. And visible to start lets you say whether or not that victim is visible there to begin with. So if I say visible to start no, and now I do play, that victim doesn't activate until I actually double click on the person. A lot of interesting effects there with victims. We encourage you to visit the Help Center where we'll be writing more articles and showing some videos about using victims. Now, as, as Sims you Share is getting more popular around the world, we've added five new languages, Danish, German, Italian, Norwegian, and Romanian. Let's take a look where to set that. On the main screen here, you go to the menu, and the top is Set Language. You'll see here Danish, German, English, Spanish, French, Italian, Dutch, Norwegian, and Romanian. You just click on whichever language you want to use, hit OK, and you're off and running. The last stop on our quick tour is our new help center available at support.simsyoushare.com. Let's take a look. So right off our simsyoushare.com, you can either go to the help men menu to help center or where it says right down here help, visit help center, clicking on that will take you over to our new help center. Now over here it's organized where you can sign in and actually make requests or look at the Solutions tab, which is the Knowledge Base. You can go over and look at see different categories, see how to do various operations. Or if you want to discuss questions, go into our Community Area, our Forum Area. And right now, you can see the categories. We have a couple different categories to use. You can put here, ask your questions, post your ideas, post your problems. Everything will all get resolved in here as a way to interact with us and help solve the issues that you're facing or discuss things with the community. Well, thanks for watching. 
Certainly we look forward to interacting with you, hearing your ideas, hearing your questions, and seeing what you can do with SimsUShare version 1.5. Thank you.